Welcome to Narita, Japan, home to some Japanesey shit. If you want to see some local snack action along with a life-changing meetup, then you've come to the right place. What's up everybody? Dustin here from Solo Travel Blog. Today I'm here with the lovely Akina and two badass subscribers named Aaron and Des. How are you feeling, Akina? I am feeling very excited. And what about you, Aaron and Des? I'm feeling pretty oishi. I'm feeling sensual. <laughs> Alright, we're about to check out Narita City, the city I love. And I think it's going to be mighty nice. Let's do this thing. So we started cruising around to Narita Temple and we were getting in touch with our spiritual side. I mean, with temple grounds like this, it's kind of hard to not to get in touch with your spiritual side. And as Des just mentioned, it's kind of hard not to get in touch with your sensual side either. That's a nice fucking temple right there. This temple even has some ponds jam-packed with fish. I don't know what that's all about. All I know is it seems like these damn rascals are living on Easy Street. So after spending some time in that temple, we boosted on out of there and started exploring around Narita City itself. Came across this dairy place that was selling some whey soda. I thought that could be a pretty interesting drink, but after we tried it out, surprise, surprise, it was pretty damn weird. Next up, we got a little rice wine shot going on. Gotta wash the flavor of that whey soda down. Can you actually blame us? And after that, we came across a souvenir shop of sorts. It seemed like a good potential money waster, so we decided to sprint on into that place. And as you can see, the souvenir selection in this place is getting pretty Japanesey. Look at these fucking things. These are some choice quality tchotchkes right here. They even got the great wave of Kanagawa and a rampaging Godzilla. That's pretty buck wild. What other kind of money wasters do they got in this place? Check this out. Magic towel, when you pour hot water, the image will change and she will be nude? Holy shit. I thought we were walking into a souvenir shop, but it seems more like we walked into a sensual shop. Nice fucking towel selection right there. Anyway, this place had some nice money wasters, but we were feeling a tad hungry, so we decided to get the hell out of there. Then we started prowling the mean streets of Narita, looking for that famous Narita eel action. And as you can see, we got us some eel maestros cooking up that eel to perfection. It seemed like a pretty good place to get some traditional foods in our stomach, so we decided to give it a go. And I may be a tad biased, but I just so happen to think that that eel is looking swell as a motherfucking bell, baby. It was grilled to perfection with that sweet eel sauce, and personally, I felt like it had an impact on our sensuality. Presumably, a positive impact. So after chowing down on that eel, we started searching for a sweet motherfucking treat, and whoa, 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 what's this? We got a Daug basking in the sun over here. I kind of like this Daug style. He's chilling with his paws in the air like he sure as hell don't give a care. So eventually, we did find ourselves a dessert of the sesame ice cream variety. It seemed like Des was pretty into it, but then she started serving some to Aaron, and wow, check out that serving technique. And as you can see, Aaron seems to have mixed emotions on this ice cream, but me personally, I love it to bits. I loved it enough to put that spoon aside and take myself a big ass bite. What can I say? I'm a sesame man through and fucking through. Anyway, you get the drill. Overall, this was a pretty sensual Narita tour, and it was an experience we won't soon forget. Oh, and by the way, if you want to check out even more life-changing meetups in Japan, then feel fucking free to check out my playlist. I got that link in the description box. And as always, thanks for watching this video. Wada